my name's Amber Christensen, and I love Studio C. So that's what I like to build. We like to do a little uh, sketch each year and add it to it. So we've got worst prom dress ever. So real quick, before we take a look at more of the builds, what is Studio C for people who haven't seen their content before? It's a comedy sketch group based in Provo, Utah. And it's clean comedy, so it's fun for the whole family. And uh, they got famous, actually, from... Uh, we built this... It was one of our first ones was the Scott Sterling <laughs> sketch, which is famous by now. Cause famous internet meme at this point. Absolutely, yeah. You can just say Scott Sterling, and everyone goes, Oh, Scott Sterling! <laughs> um, which is funny, because it's such a, a simple build, but it, the idea is, is timeless, so... Um, and yeah, we've got over here, this is one of my favorite, it's the um, most realistic video game ever, which cracks me up, I love it. <laughs> and, uh, so what all is happening in this scene here? They put in a, a video game and they stand in front of the TV and all of a sudden they become the character. So he's running around and he gets a conscience because because it looks like he's beating people up. And so he's like, well, I, I better go to a bank and get a loan. That's the responsible thing to do. And the other guy's like, would you get out of my way? I'm going to be it. And he's like, you need a disguise when you're holding up a bank. So he like picks an outfit and he's like, are you a hot dog? So he's a hot dog holding up uh, the bank with a giant bazooka. It's awesome. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's a classic. And then over here we have the super sibling where Superman is bragging to his brother and telling him everything that uh, he can he can do like save the save the world while his brother's out just trying to make the track team and finally he's like the parents are like well we got to tell you something you're adopted and the brother's like i knew superman couldn't be my sibling he's like no not not superman you everybody else is super but but you so of course classic and then with Batman, we got the un, uh, the unusual suspect. So they bring in all these suspects because someone was like, someone pulled me out of my car and headbutted me. And uh, he's like, hey, well, everyone step forward and say your name. And they all step forward, or they all say a line, which is, I'm Batman. And so when Batman steps forward, he doesn't want to say it and give himself away. So he disguises his voice. But of course, as soon as he, as soon as he ends up saying, I'm Batman, like, that's it. That's the guy. <laughs> And then I think did we get this one is the school photo band because he comes in and takes a normal school photo and the hurry the police come in hurry and say you know that's not going to work because if your school photo looks good everybody else you know will be so sad the rest of their lives so they hurry and mess up his hair and give him zits and put hairspray in his eyes so he can't see so that it's the worst school photo. Oh, and the lasers, of course. That's the, la the, la <laughs> the laser wall is so good back there. So iconic. As soon as he pulls it down, they're like, bless the man that built this backdrop. It's so good because it's like everybody knows someone in the 90s. Like he has a sister and his mom that had that in the backdrop for one of their pictures. So it's so funny. <laughs> and then what is this scene over here? Oh, okay. So the worst prom dress ever. <laughs> they, uh, each of the girls come down and turn, you know, for the big prom reveal, thinking, you know, the boys think, oh, they're going to look beautiful, but they look like one of them's literally wearing a ball. And the guy's like, what are you doing? She's like, it's the latest fashion I saw it in a magazine. And he's like, I'm pretty sure you saw someone playing with a ball <laughs> that looked like that. And so, you know, we have the sisters that have a double dress. They're going to prom together. They tied their hair together and someone that's completely covered and it's just ridiculous and and funny so we thought it would be funny just have a giant ball in a scene so, so yeah and then I think we still got one more down there oh yeah that's our newest one so um, that one is the world record tiny house smallest living because they don't want to you know waste space and so it's all about how can we you know make a really good living and so they end up having an outhouse of for a <laughs> for their house and the best part of that is that throughout it you know they're interviewing them and they're like and we can even have house guests and they pull down like a little cupboard and the grandpa sticks his head out but they were saying you know how the everything can act as double things so the oven is actually also the bathroom and you have the grandpa in the background going I need to use the oven <laughs> so it's just silly and fun
Yeah, there's been so many great sketches from Studio C over the years. How did you narrow down the ones that you've decided to build over the years? What, what kind of struck you that you're like, that's what I want to do with Lego? I think half of it was what we loved, what made us laugh. And then the other was what characters we had. So like, you know, you have a Batman, so you think, well, we could, we could do that. That's easy to build. Or we have a Superman. And, and then just like things that would catch people's attention, like the ball with the prom dress at the top of the stairs is so unique that it's like, yeah, it's just just fun. What were some of the, the tougher design elements of some of these builds? Were there any parts of these that took you a little while to figure out or kind of mess around with different pieces for it? The ball is actually a little, when we take it to a show, it's a cheat. When we first built it, you could momentarily balance it. So I could be like, it could really stay on top. But we use, she's a scrapbooker, and we use these little glue dots to keep it, her, like, balanced on top. Uh, so that, a little bit of a cheat. But, um, uh, yeah, that was that was hard. This, like the burrito dress, in pink, to get it all in pink was really challenging with what I had. And it, it is like weird. And the dress looks just as weird as what's there. Like, it's, uh, that was hard and it's kind of loosely held together. Um, like, design wise, I don't know much more. I, sometimes it's the color, like on the tiny house, getting the color I wanted that looked like an outhouse color. I didn't have a lot of parts in that color, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, that's the I, nice thing about building at this scale and this size is you don't, you know, you don't have to have those like super difficult challenges of like piece count and that sort of thing, and you can capture all these fun scenes still. Yeah. Well, well, great work. Thank you so much for for taking us through all of these fantastic scenes. Uh, can't wait to see what you bring back next year. Thank you.